This is for U12 specialists that comes out of the 2019 complex number, question number nine. So I'm going to give some hints as to how this might work. But this question is a very difficult question and you need to know some stuff as to what's actually happening and to use bits in the earlier part. So um, if I'm looking for, this is W. So W, if I have, would be here where that's theta. Now I'm expressing W to 1 on W, which is W to the negative 1. And I can use De Morvais theorem, which I'm told to use, which means it's going to be 2 to the negative 1. Chis of negative theta. So it's actually going to be a half, but it's going to be down here, where that's a magnitude of two. This is a magnitude of a half, and it's going to be negative theta, so we're going to be down in this quadrant. So that's going to equal one on two. A chis of negative theta. Now to look at the next part of the question, <clears throat> I'm going to let z equal w plus 1 on w. So I can then say that z will equal 2 chis theta plus a half chis negative theta, taking the previous bit that I had, I'm going to use the idea of swapping them around and putting the i on the sign um, and expand and you need to have a play with what's going to happen with cos of theta and sine of theta when we have negative theta. Because I think you'll find that the sine of theta equals negative sine of negative theta, but the cos of theta equals the cos of negative theta because um, cos is positive in the first and the fourth quadrant. So that's the little play that you need to do with that one. Here we're working with z remembering that z is this, which is this. So z is the same as this, where a is 5 on 2 and b is 3 on 2. And you'll notice that 5 on 2 and 3 on 2 will be 5 squared, 3 squared, and 2 squared. So you can see how they're all connected. And then when we come over the page, we're going to use this to help substitute back from here. So all the questions are linked, but you do need to do some work to unpack them. So there's the hints that I can give.